What's going on everybody? I'm back with another High Limit Coin Booster video for you all today. And in today's video we're going to be doing a $10 million buy-in. And they gave us 3,000 quarters to get started today. A pretty expensive game, but luckily they gave us plenty enough quarters to start with today. So uh, anyhow, wish me the best of luck. Hopefully we can walk out of here with millions up on millions of dollars in profit. Now they got this thing loaded up brilliantly well today. They got probably like the world's biggest like castle wall in there. It's entirely made out of $10,000 and $25,000 chips. Yeah, all those orange chips at the very bottom, those are $10,000 chips. And these brown ones up top here, those are $25,000 chips. Oh my goodness, well we got some of the towers on the pusher to fall down already. And look at all this cash they got on the lower shelf down here. That is insane. Oh, nice. Just got a whole bunch of it right there. Do you see that? Nice. It's doing real good. And uh, they also got two stacks of $100 bills on the left and the right corners. Uh, there's actually $10,000 in each one of those stacks of cash. Oh, and they also got two more stacks of cash up there on top of those $5,000 chip walls, I guess. So... Y'all probably can't see the cash, but you can definitely see the $5,000 chips. Oh, wow, nice. There we go. Nice. Look at all that money we're about to win. That is insane. Oh, yeah, that was a avalanche of $10,000 chips. Get that loose sheet cleared out. Oh, nice. There we go. Oh, wow, and there's uh, two of the ginormous dollar sign money mystery bags on the edge. Check that out. Yeah, those are typically loaded up super, super good. Hopefully they got a lot of nice and valuable stuff in there like dice, uh, special chips, all that stuff would be good to win. Yeah, it looks like they're pretty much like stuck against the glass. Oh my gosh, there we go. Starting to get a ton of $25,000 chips now. This is going pretty good so far. A lot better than I thought it'd be going. Yeah, I can't believe it's all getting stuck against the glass. That ain't good. But we still got a ton of quarters, so you know what? Let's go ahead and rapid fire all these quarters in here. Like I said, we got 3,000 quarters. That should be way more than enough to win all this stuff out of here. Well, the only bad thing about it is I don't think there was a single quarter inside the machine before I started playing. So we technically had to fill up the whole entire machine with quarters ourselves. So, yeah, that's definitely going to eat up a bunch of our quarters. So let's rapid fire a whole entire basket in there. All right, there it is. That was the whole entire basket. Come on, work some magic. Come on, big money. Oh my goodness, are you kidding me? It's all stuck against the glass. This is insane right here. Holy smokes, this is a very, very intense game right here today. Yeah, I had a pretty good feeling this one was going to be pretty difficult considering they gave me 3,000 quarters to start with. Usually when they give you a whole bunch of quarters like that, it's because they know it's going to be difficult. Now there's no way a thousand quarter challenge would have worked on this game. Thank goodness they gave us three thousand quarters. As you can see we got a ton of quarters piled up way back there. It's like starting to pile up more and more and more as the machine progresses. So Anyway, I'm pretty sure this mister bag right here, you can see a little bit of it that white on that mister bag. I think that is blocking all those chips in the center from falling down. So I'm just going to keep it pushing across the whole field for a couple more minutes and I'll try to get that loot chute cleared out but I can't believe it all got stuck against the glass. That is just insane. Oh nice there we go we're getting some $10,000 chips over there on the right side. Can y'all see that okay? I think y'all can anyway. Might have to adjust the camera here in just a moment. So uh, anyway, briefly I'd like to talk about something. I apologize that this video is coming out a little bit later than normal. Y'all might be seeing this around like 7 or 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I like to upload anywhere from uh, 2 to 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So uh, 
I've just been outside enjoying the warm weather today. It's super, super nice out there. And uh, I'm just now getting to film this amazing video. So yeah, I should have this on here probably by about 7 o'clock tonight. But then again, I guess a late video is better than no video at all, right? But uh, like I said, I'll try to get back on normal schedule tomorrow. Try to post anywhere from 2 to 4. Alright, well it's doing pretty good now. We got the majority of that money on the right side to go. But look at all this right here in the center and on the left side. That is insane. I don't think I've ever seen it pile up this bad before. Yeah, whoever built this big old castle wall definitely knew what they were doing. Oh no, now that stack of cash is going to get stuck, I'm pretty sure. You know what, I think it might just be that mystery bag that is preventing that stuff from falling. So, I feel like once I get the mystery bag out of the uh, loot chute... Oh my goodness, Nice. check that out, it's going! It is literally going on the right side there. That is awesome. Alright, there we go. Well, I just got uh, some of that stuff out of there. Well, I got the mystery bag and those chips got stuck there. I'll tell you what, let me just try to get that loose chute cleared out real quick and uh, we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, I'm back. So before we get back to pushing, I think I'm going to go ahead and open up at least one of these mystery bags. So let's see, which one should I start with? This one sounds like it has like some coins in there of some sort. It's probably quarters, but don't know that for sure. So I think I'm going to go ahead and open up this one first. Yeah, I'm pretty excited to see what's in here. So yeah, let's check it out and see what we got. Well, there's definitely a bunch of quarters. Oh my gosh, but there's also a bunch of $1 chips. Check that out. So uh, let's see. Holy smokes, we got uh, two, four, six of the $1 chips. So that is 3,000 extra quarters right there. Each one of these is worth 500 free quarters. So that is uh, 3,000 free quarters right there. That is awesome. Heck yeah, I'll definitely take that. So we'll definitely have enough quarters to get all this stuff cleared out of here today. And I got that loot chute cleared out. My goodness, there was a ton of money down there. Mainly all $25,000 chips. And uh, yeah, as soon as I got those two mystery bags out of there, y'all seen it, all that money that was stuck just like completely broke free and fell down in there, which is nice. So but anyhow, the only thing I'm not locking is these uh, stacks of cash being stuck against the glass. And they will easily rearrange those whenever I call them back here. So I think we'd be better off going ahead and calling them back here to see if they can rearrange these. So let's do that and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, we're back. Let's get right back to pushing. So I called the staff back here and they took both of them $100 stacks and they just rearranged them. They put one of them on the moving platform back there and the other one down here on the lower shelf. So yeah, wish me the best of luck. Hopefully we can get these $100 bills out of here and these remaining five and $10,000 chips. And hopefully all those quarters that are stacked up in there as well. So yeah, there was no point in continuing to push like that whenever they would rearrange both of them stacks of hundreds. And they put them in really, really nice spots though, which I'm pretty happy about. Won't be long, we'll get these chips on the left corner here as well. Oh nice, there we go, we got one of them to go already, sweet. So yeah, be sure you comment the number 8 if you've made it this far into the video. 8 is the number for the day, so be sure you comment that number down in the comments section. That just uh, lets me know that you're still tuned into the video and you're still watching. I know a lot of people fast forward through these videos, which I wouldn't suggest doing that at all, because you might miss out on a lot of valuable information you might need to understand these games. And also give you all channel updates, so say if there's going to be a day where I won't post a video, I will let you all know and stuff, and you might miss that. You might miss the important information if you fast forward through the videos, because I'm talking like all the way through these games, and the videos are roughly, most of the time, half an hour long. Sometimes a little bit more, a little bit less, but half an hour is about the average video length 
for my videos on this channel. So anyway, let's see. There's like 10 gram hanging over the edge on the right. Well, I think we should go ahead and stop right there because uh, they'll leave that in there on the next round. So anyhow, uh, let's go ahead and check out this other mystery bag right here. Now this one honestly feels like there might be some dice in there. Oh, and speaking of dice, there's also uh, two more of the white dice. You can barely see them, but they're on top of them golden towers there. If we can somehow win those, we'll get to roll them at the end of the game. And whatever they all land on, my winnings will multiply by those numbers. Oh my goodness, it was loaded up super good. Look at all this stuff we just won. Holy smokes, this is incredible. All right, so we got three golden dice so far, and it looks like... Well, I just dropped something. All right, so there was uh, seven of the white dice, and there was five of the golden dice. So the gold dice, I get to roll them. Whatever they land on, the gold bars will multiply by those numbers, and the white dice, we get to roll them. Whatever they land on, my uh, winnings will multiply by those numbers. That is absolutely incredible. This is going to be a huge win today, no doubt at all about that. And check this out. We also got a whole bunch more $1 chips. We got four more of them. So that's another 2,000 extra quarters. And uh, this Mr. Money keychain right here, this could be worth a dollar all the way up to $1 billion. So that is very, very exciting right there. And uh, we also got the $5 chips. So we're going to turn this in. They'll take all that stuff that is on the blue shelf. So they'll put it all into the play field somewhere, which is really, really nice. And uh, this $10 chip right here, this is worth one or more free bonus towers. I get to cash this in. They'll let me spin a wheel. And that wheel has all these different types of chip values on there. And whatever it lands on, it's what type of brand new bonus tower they'll build inside the play field. So that is really, really nice. And check this out. We also got the $50 chip today. So we're going to turn this in. At the very end of the game, they'll take everything that is falling down them gutters. They'll put it back in here for us to have a second chance of winning it. So that is incredible. So I'm thinking we should go ahead and turn in the $10 chip and all those $1 chips. That way if we do end up losing something to the blue shelf on that round, uh, they'll automatically put it back in here whenever I turn in the $5 chip. So let's do that and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, we're back. Let's get right back to pushing. So I turned in that $10 chip and uh, they let me spin that wheel and today it landed on $5,000 chips. That is incredible. As you can see, they built like one humongous tower on the pusher back there. And they built like two smaller, skinnier towers on the lower shelf. So I'd say this right here is at least probably half a million to a million dollars or more. So, I mean, it's a pretty good chunk of money in there. So wish me the best of luck. Hopefully we can win all this stuff out of here today. And also, there ended up being 10 of those $1 chips in total. So... I cashed in all 10 of those. They gave me 5,000 extra quarters. So, oh my goodness, did you see that? Wow, that tower crashed down before it even like fell off of the edge of the pressure. I honestly think that is the first time that has ever happened while playing the high limit coin pressure. At least on my channel anyway. Wow, that is absolutely insane right there. Let me know what y'all thought about that down in the comments. That was crazy. And anyway, I've got tons of quarters now. Probably got about eight or 9,000 quarters in total. I didn't really count them up. But I just know we got an extra 5,000 quarters when I turned in the uh, 10 $1 chips. So we're doing pretty good at the moment, I guess. But there's still a ton of stuff left in there. We gotta win. We got to get these $5,000 chips out of here on this round, which could take a little bit. And uh, these two ginormous towers on the blue shelves, these great big old ones, uh, those might take a lot of quarters to move, depending on what location they put those towers in. If they put those big old towers on the pusher, the odds of winning them are very, very high. They'll just fall straight forward and fall straight down into the pay. However, if they put those big old towers down here on the lower shelf, then that's when it's going to give us a little trouble, more than likely. I'm not trying to be negative or anything like that. It's just, uh, I played these games a lot over the past four years, pretty much. And I know how the towers operate. They're more stubborn when they're down there on the lower shelf, at least for the large towers, anyway. And even these skinnier towers, obviously. Oh, and anyway, I asked them what that uh, dollar 
money mystery keychain was, the mystery money keychain. Uh, they said it was worth uh, $45,000, I believe it was. Yeah, it was $45,000. I was about to say $35,000, but and I remembered it's $45,000. So that's pretty good right there, considering it could have been worth only $1. So I'll take it. But uh, we got a long ways to go to winning that $10 million back. I mean, we might have already broken even at this point. But uh, we're going to need to make a lot more than $10 million today to break even. Because uh, yesterday evening I was playing this one game. And I think I ended up losing about... I'm going to try to remember exactly. I play so many of these, it's just hard to keep up with each and every one of them. Uh, I'm going to say I lost around 55 million on yesterday's game, or one of the games I was playing yesterday evening. See, that was going to be today's video, but uh, obviously since I lost, I'm not going to post that because nobody really wants to see the losing videos. But yeah, I lost around 55 million, so technically we need to make a 65 million dollars in total. Off of this game right here if we're going to break even on this game right here and what I lost yesterday. So anyhow, we're doing really, really good on this round right here. We got uh, the majority of them $5,000 chips out of there. Look at that big old row of chips making its way toward the edge on the right. That is crazy. I mean, you could count that money up if you wanted to. You can pause the video. To me, it looks like it was about 70 or 80 grand. That's just what I quickly counted up anyway before it fell. Alright, well, let's get this last 40 grand on the left. There's three $10,000 chips, two $5,000 chips. That's 40 grand. Let's push that out of there. Then I will uh, turn in the $5 chip. Yeah, and it took me a decent amount of time to uh, get that loot chute all emptied out. Yeah, that's usually the most time-consuming part of these games. Well, besides knocking down the towers and stuff. Yeah, I've been playing this game in total uh, probably about 2 hours and 10 minutes now or something. So anyway, I'm going to go get that loot shoot cleared out, turn in that $10 chip. I mean, a $5 chip, and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, we're back. Let's get right back to pushing. So I turned in that $5 chip. And uh, they took the majority of that stuff that was on the blue shelves, except for them two towers. And uh, they put it all into the play field. They took those $10,000 chip towers, combined them into one uh, great big old tower in the center there. And uh, check that out. There was also two mystery bags in there. I couldn't even see those whatsoever. I wasn't really paying attention to some of the stuff that was on the blue shelves. So yeah, there's a uh, brown mystery bag and like a tan mystery bag or something. Oh my goodness, we got to push on the right side. Do you see that? Because that dice, it's headed straight for the gutter. So I'm going to use that skill stop for a second. Come on, please push that dice past the gutter. I think it's a goner, you all. I think we're going to lose it, so... Yeah, there's nothing we could really do about that. But I mean, hey, today we got that uh, $50 chip. We get to cash in at the very end of this game. They will take that dice if we lose it. They'll put it back into the play field. So, yeah, we just lost it right there, unfortunately. And uh, basically, they just said to win all these $5,000 chips out of here. And they will put these two towers into the play field after I clear out some of this stuff. So, oh my goodness, we're getting a ton of gold and $10,000 chips. Oh nice, we just got one of them mystery bags. Let's get that loot sheet cleared out. Oh nice, there we go. Oh yeah, jackpot baby, check this out. We got both of those mystery bags. So we'll check those mystery bags out here in just a few minutes. But uh, anyway, I kind of like where they uh, leave some of the stuff on the blue shelves whenever we turn in the $5 chip. That way, if we do end up losing stuff like those $5,000 chips right there, that free reset, they'll automatically put that stuff back into the play field. So, yeah, they've been doing this for quite a while now. And it's much better when stuff isn't so crowded inside the machine. Because uh, it would get, like, stuck against the glass and stuff real easily. So, yeah, I'm hoping they put those two humongous towers 
on the pusher shelf back there. That way we uh, can knock them down pretty easily. Yeah, I doubt they're going to put those two humongous towers on the lower shelf. If they did, I would be very, very surprised. So, anyway, let's see. I tell you what, should we go ahead and load this thing up with quarters using the skill stop? I feel like that is a brilliant idea. So, yeah, let's do it. Let's see, should we try 1,000 quarters at once? I haven't done 1,000 quarters at once in a long time now. It's been probably... Oh gosh, a month or so. So let's give this a try. That was about 250 quarters right there. So three more of what we already put in there and that'll make our 1,000 quarters at once. All right, so we're almost out of quarters in this one basket here, so I'm gonna have to switch to the other one here shortly. Let's see what that does. I'm gonna let the pressure push out a little bit like that right there. All right, so let's keep on stacking it up. Oh yeah, we're getting some $5,000 chips to go already. Look at that. Alright, so that was about 550 quarters. Maybe a little bit more. I'm not, I'm not really like counting up the quarters or anything. I'm just going for what I think is 1,000 at once. I mean, I put 1,000 quarters in there at one time a lot of times already. So I have a pretty good idea of what 1,000 quarters looks like. That was about like 850 right there, so a little bit more, and I will uh, let go of that skill stop button. Yeah, this is going to be insane right here. If you've never seen a thousand quarters at once, you're about to see something absolutely amazing happen. All right, are you ready for this? I'm going to let go of the skill stop button in three, two, one. Let's see what it does. Come on. Oh yeah, it should give us like at least five or ten good waves of quarters pushing forward oh yeah well while it's pushing and stuff it might take a while for them quarters to break free I'm actually going to open up this mystery bag here in the left corner so let's check it out and see what we got oh my goodness wow there was a whole bunch of thousand dollar chips in this mystery bag here let me count these up real quick oh gosh and we also got one more white dice check that out definitely take that so there was eleven thousand dollars in a thousand dollar chips right here that ain't too bad it's pretty good all right so now let's move on to this mr bag right here oh wow look at how good this is pushing let's watch it push one time oh my gosh well we pretty much got the majority of them chips out of there we just got to get this big old stack of cash that's the next project for the next target as i should say all right, so let's see what we got. We got a whole bunch of $5,000 chips right here. Well, it stopped pushing, so that's good. So let's see, we got uh, 10 grand, 20 grand, 30 grand, 40 grand, $50,000 in $5,000 ,000 chips. I'll definitely take that. So uh, let's see, I'm gonna finish out these quarters that we have in the basket, or the bowl up here. Try to get this little bit of money right here, and if we don't get that, I will uh, just go ahead and call them back here and have them do that free reset. So, yeah, that free reset, they'll put them two ginormous towers in the play field. And they'll also take those $5,000 chips that we lost, they'll put them in here somewhere as well, which is super nice. Oh, yeah, did you see that? We got a whole bunch of $5,000 chips out there. Nice, we got it. We got it all cleared out of there. That is awesome. This is going incredible today. Holy cow, this is doing amazing. We're definitely going to walk out of here with that $65 million, hopefully. So anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and call them back here, have them do that free reset, and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, righty, ANV Coin Pusher has returned. Let's get right back to pushing. So I called them back here, and they uh, took them two ginormous towers. That was remaining on the blue shelves. They put both of them on the pressure, so yeah, that is going to be pretty easy to knock down those towers, I'm pretty sure. And uh, they also took those $5,000 chips that we lost. They put them right there in the middle, stacked it into a brand new tower, so wish me the best of luck. Hopefully we can win every bit of this stuff out of here. Yeah, how much money do y'all think is in each one of those towers right there? Well, there's four chips on each row. You can obviously see that, I'm pretty sure. 
and uh, I'd say there's 50 or 60 rows of chips, maybe. So I'd say each tower is probably around two or three million dollars, if not more. So yeah. And plus those dots that we've won, whatever those total up to, that could be like a hundred million or more back there on the pusher, about ready to crash down. Nice, so there we go, and it took the five thousand dollar tip tower out as well. That is awesome, awesome sauce right there. Oh yeah, absolutely fantabulous game today. Haven't said fantabulous in a little while. Oh yeah, so we got all the $25,000 chips off of that rock tower there. All right, there we go. Had to get it cleared out of the uh, loot chute real quick. Big old tower over here on the left is going to go as well, I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah, it's going to go any second now. We just need a good... Uh, build up a quarters back there behind it. It should shove it off of the uh, pressure back there. Yep. I knew that was going to happen. Wow, that is awesome sauce right there. I can't get over how good this is pushing today. Yeah, this honestly might be a brand new record win today. I sure do hope it is anyway. Now they got so much stuff in there today, it's insane. Well, they had so much stuff in there before we got it all out of there by winning it. Yeah, let me know what you all thought about that ginormous castle with chips. That was like probably the biggest castle I've ever seen in there. Oh, in yesterday's video, if you haven't seen that one, I highly recommend you check that one out after you're through watching this video right here. Uh, yesterday's video was a huge, or let's just call it the world's largest city of poker chips. Like there was towers everywhere inside the machine. If you haven't seen that video, you're missing out big time. Go and check it out after you're through watching this video right here. Matter of fact, uh, just to make it a little bit easier for you all, now that video will actually pop up on the end screen of this video right here. It will uh, pop up on the bottom left of the screen. You can just uh, click on it and it will take you right to that video from uh, yesterday. So, yeah, be sure you go and check out that video. It didn't get as many views as the other ones have this week. So, if we can boost that video up to at least 40,000 views, I would highly appreciate that. And, uh, Let's see, if we can get the 40,000 views on that video from yesterday and at least uh, 40,000 on this one today. Tomorrow I will do a very, very large buy-in with a limited quarter challenge. So maybe a uh, $50 million buy-in with a five quarter challenge or a one quarter challenge. Let me know if you'd want to see that. Well anyhow, I think we should just go ahead and stop right here. That's going to take a little bit to move forward where there's so much stacked up right there. They'll leave that in there regardless until the next round. So anyhow, let's turn in that $50 chip. They'll take everything that we've lost to them gutters. They'll put it back into the play field for us to have a second chance of winning it. So let's turn in that $50 chip and we'll be right back. Alrighty, AMV coin pusher has returned. Let's get right back to pushing. So I uh, turned in that $50 chip and they took everything that had fallen down in the gutters today and they put it all back into the playing field. They got a like red mystery bag in there, like a burgundy red type of mystery bag. So uh, more than likely that dice that we lost or if there was more dice that had fallen down in there, they're all in that mystery bag right there because they take all the smaller stuff, the smaller special items that fall down in there and uh, they put them into a mystery bag so they won't get lost again or something like that. I really don't know how they do it, but... I mean, that's just my assumption anyway. They put all the smaller stuff in the mystery bag so they won't get lost. And anyhow, uh, let's see. They had a big old wall of chips and gold in there. Mainly $5,000 chips. So all those chips were the ones that had fallen down in the uh, gutters today. We're getting a lot of it back so far. There's also some cash in there. Alright, well we're doing pretty good at the moment with losing stuff to the blue shelves. Not really losing anything at the moment. 
Oh, nice. Nice. There we go. We got the Mr. Bag Suite. That is awesome. So let's go ahead and check it out, see if there's any nice and valuable stuff in there. We might as well. Oh, we got Jackpot Baby. Check this out. We got another gold bar, and there was three white dice and a gold dice in there. Holy smoke. So that obviously means that somebody else was playing on uh, this machine before I got here today, and they lost some dice. So anyway, that's going to boost our uh, return up tremendously. We're going to make a lot more money off of this game now that we got several more dice. So yeah, let's push out all these chips and gold. And uh, we'll be set. We'll be ready to uh, call them back here and they'll put all those dice that we've won on the pusher back there. Wow, this is doing super, super good today though. Look at how much stuff we're winning. This is absolutely fantabulous. Now let's get that loot sheet cleared out. Oh my goodness, boy, it's getting super, super full. So uh, anyway, if this is your first time watching my channel and you've enjoyed this outstanding video right here and you want to see more videos like this one every single day, seven days a week, uh, be sure you subscribe to the channel. That way you never miss a brand new video. And turn on that bell icon, that way it sends a notification to uh, whatever device you're watching my videos on. All you got to do is click on it, and uh, it will take you right to my brand new video. It's 100% free. There's no money involved in it. I'm not making money, and it's not going to cost you all money. So it's just a really, really cool feature that YouTube has, so you can uh, keep up with your favorite channels. And if you don't take my word for it, then... Uh, just ask somebody down in the comment section, or ask anybody for that matter who knows stuff about YouTube, and they'll tell you the same thing I told you. It don't cost no money to subscribe. Now the only thing that would charge you money is becoming a channel member, which you don't have to become a member. I think we got roughly uh, 10 or 15 channel members right now, which I appreciate you all. Appreciate all the ones who have become a member over the past couple months. Yeah, and I think it costs like $4.99 a month to become a member, which don't get becoming a member uh, confused with hitting that subscribe button. Subscribing is 100% free, and enabling the bell icon beside of it is 100% free as well. But the only thing that would cost you money is becoming a member. So if you don't want to be charged $4.99 a month, then don't become a member. You can subscribe, that's 100% free. I mean, I know there's still a lot of people who get confused about this down in the comments. They tell me, oh, well, subscribing is going to cost me money, but trust me, it don't. You can ask anybody, they'll tell you. Subscribing is free, so. Anyway, I appreciate all the support recently and over the past couple of years. And I really, really enjoy making these videos for you all. I've wanted to do this pretty much all my life, and about uh, four years ago, it's when I started filming these uh, coin brusher videos, and uh, surprisingly, the subscriber count skyrocketed, and you all seem to really, really love these videos, and about four years later, we're almost to 160,000 subscribers, so everybody has contributed to the success of this channel equally. So I appreciate everybody who's subscribed to my channel. I appreciate the ones who watch the videos daily. Appreciate the ones who leave the nice comments. You all are truly amazing and I can't thank you all enough for all the support. That's why I try to uh, make these videos very, very entertaining each day. I reward you all with the best content on YouTube. So. And uh, with that being said, my goal is to get to 200,000 subscribers by the end of this year. I would really like to get there before the end of the year, but it's totally up to you all. If you all want to subscribe and help me get there, you're welcome to. If you don't, then that's totally up to you as well. I'm not going to beg you all to subscribe or nothing, but uh, all I'm saying, you definitely don't want to miss out on these videos. And if you 
I stumble across the videos and watch one and then just like turn off your phone or something or your whatever device you're watching my videos on. You may never see my videos pop up again. You may not remember my name. Which the name of my YouTube channel is A and V Coin Pressure, so just remember that. You have to search that up. And check out the videos. I typically upload from 2 to 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so. Yeah, just tune in about that time and you'll probably see a brand new video pop up. So, anyhow, we got the whole entire machine cleared out today. Holy smokes, this has just been an outstanding game today. I can't believe we've won all that stuff out of there. And most importantly, there was a $50 chip and a $10 chip in there today. You don't normally see uh, two of those bonus tower uh, chips in there in one game, so that is incredible. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and call the staff back here. I think we have won 18 dice in total. We got 12 of the white dice and 6 of the golden dice. They'll put all 18 of them dice on the pusher. We got to roll them on down to that lower shelf. Whatever they all land on, we're going to get to multiply our winnings and our gold by those numbers. So let's call the staff over here and uh, we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, A and V coin pusher has returned. Let's get right back to pushing. So I called the staff back here. They put all 18 of them dice on the pusher, so let's roll them on down to that lower shelf. Hopefully they all total up to some fabulous numbers. Oh nice, we got two sixes and a five right there. Oh wow, this is going to be a huge win today, no doubt about that at all. Well, we're getting a couple ones I see, so the ones don't count at all, unfortunately. However, most of them are landing on fives and sixes anyway, so this is going to be a miraculous win. Let's see. Oh, nice. We got a four on that other white dice. Let's see what that gold dice lands on. Oh, nice. Well, we got a two. A two's better than a one. So, anyhow, that is not bad. Not bad at all. Literally, the majority of them dice landed on some brilliant numbers right there. So, I'm going to count everything up. Multiply our winning center goal by all this. And I'll let y'all know how much money we have made today from a $10 million buy-in. We'll be right back. You all are not going to believe how much money I've made today. This is absolutely outstanding. I ended up winning $24,571,835. That is the chips, the cash, and that mystery money keychain all put together. And the white dice today totaled up to 43, so I'm going to get to multiply my winnings by 43. And in total, I ended up winning one billion and fifty-six million five hundred eighty-eight thousand nine hundred and five dollars. Holy smokes! I'm like almost speechless right now. This is just insane. Oh my gosh! I was not expecting to win anywhere near that amount of money today, especially from a ten million dollar buy-in. So that right there might honestly be my biggest win from a $10 million buy-in before. Oh my goodness, that is just a crazy amount of money right there. That I, I still, I don't even know what to say right now. This is just insane. I was not expecting this win whatsoever. Oh my goodness, that is just insane right there. That is a life-changing amount of money indeed. Absolutely mind-blowing right there. And it doesn't end there. On top of that, we won 65 ounces of gold. And uh, the gold dice totaled up to 19, so I'm going to get to multiply the gold by 19. And in total, I ended up winning 1,235 ounces of gold today. Spot price of gold is 2,140 an ounce, I'm pretty sure. So that means we got $2,642,900 in gold. That is a spectacular win for the gold right there for sure and uh, last but not least we ended up winning uh, 3,998 quarters we didn't win any silver dice today but let's go ahead and divide that by four to get the dollar amount it means we got nine hundred ninety nine dollars and fifty cents in quarters so that's a decent win for the quarters right there not bad not bad at all so anyway, that is extremely good for a $10 million buy-in. Can't believe we won over a billion dollars today. So if you enjoyed today's video, be sure you leave a like and subscribe. Turn on the bell icon, that way you get notified for future videos. 
And uh, if you want to check out a whole entire playlist of my videos, that will appear at the bottom right of the screen. And uh, if you want to check out yesterday's video, The World's Biggest City of Chips, that will appear at the bottom left of the screen there. And also, if you want to check out this video here at the top left of the screen, that one is an amazing video as well. And lastly, if you want to subscribe to my channel, you can click that button at the top right of the screen. So with all that being said, I'll see you all on the next video. Y'all take care and have an awesome day.